The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. Elizabeth? You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Everything all right, Dr. Colden? All is well, Elizabeth, thank you. I was making sure the water wasn't cut off yet again. Thank God, no. The water's running. I have no desire to call Donovan for help. Come now. Don't let that witch sap your morale. I'm trying, Doctor. I'm trying. It's just that sometimes I imagine she shuts down the water herself just for the pleasure of harassing me. <sighs> Her time is much too precious for these kind of petty games. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Hay fever. What's he doing here? Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Oh. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Nurse? Deborah? Come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, oh, a whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? The one that hides the smuggling business. Oh no, not them. They don't go on that side of the island. Everyone in his place. The captain on one side, cat on the other. And me. Well, I've been to the whaling station, I have. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Why did nobody tell me about her admission? Mrs. Sanders? She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Given her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. A 
another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. His binds left bloody wounds. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? Those basement brutes tied him up too tight and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. No, you're pulling my leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Dr. Colden? I have little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. The door to the boiler room is locked. I have to get the key if I wish to get rid of Donovan. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Dr. Colden, we need you at once in Dormitory B. Would you know where the key to the boiler room is? Betty didn't put it back in its place? Well, she took it to lock the door. I'll ask her. Thank you. 
But if I may say so, Doctor, I think that the problems of our patients are more urgent than the plumbing. What is the problem? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. I've done an exam. Deborah is looking after him. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I'll never understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, and I don't think they'll leave until they get what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a matter of fact, yes. A man has been brought up from the basement. I saw him, yes. It's always the same thing. They bring them up, without any explanation, with a multitude of self-inflicted injuries. We take care of the wounds, and then they leave. Each time, I feel like I'm sending them back to hell. Their affliction is not our responsibility. You cannot save everybody, Doctor. Doctor? Those people need you I'll tend to it. Don't worry. This man, Edward Pierce. His file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. The boiler room key is not in its place. Dr. Colden. It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself, but... I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm... Waiting for my medication, of course. Why? You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you... I think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. Is everything all right, Ethan? Yeah, I just... I will work and... Oh. There's no way I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patience... Where did my fiancé go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Please, the fewer interruptions there are, the faster...
We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this everything all right. All it thank God. Curry, thank says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who made this. Watch out for the water, Doctor. Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. <laughs> Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Please. Thank you for your- Thank you. Would you know where the key to- Betty didn't put it back in its place? Well, she took it to lock the door- I'll ask her. Thank- I'll be- Dr. Colden? Hello, Betty. I'm looking for the key to the boiler room. What for? To put it in its place. Perhaps I should do the same with you. I beg your pardon? I suspect you of having a little too much fun at Elizabeth's expense. But be warned, it could easily be you they will all be laughing at tomorrow. You are right, Doctor. The, the, the key is in the dormitory office in, in Block B. Thank you. I shall go fetch it. Dr. Colden? Hello, Betty. Oh, to put... I said... Be... Thank you. The operating room is never accessible after an operation.
key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Mrs. Donovan? I'm busy. Elizabeth, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. But it's about the water. What now? It's off. It's not my fault. Nothing is ever your fault. I told you to control the flow. Even if I know it's not your strong point. I've apologized a thousand times. I haven't counted that many. But then, unlike you, I don't have time to keep track. Please, Mrs. Donovan. I'm grateful to you for having kept me on despite that incident. I just need the water to be put back on. Otherwise, the bathroom will quickly become a nest of germs. Oh, very well. I'll finish what I'm doing, and then I'll fix your blunders once more. At last, the missing files must be hidden here. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. I've unlocked something. Patient files. I was right.
Conclusions, session number 17. Patient, Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? First, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I read that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. Hawkins, Fitzroy and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It is fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the morgue in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Why is Ethan on medication? Of course! Sarah Hawkins is the connection. I must go back to the basement. Now, that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief! Oh, I swear I'll shoot! Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead! No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. 
the book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go! Rescue the Doctor! Thank you, Drake. I pray that Colden is really here, and alive. An old diary. Scylla is here, like in the vision. Colden came this way. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. Ah! Uh. 
Oh my god. What, what is happening to me? What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. What happened? Something has changed, but what? seen this symbol.
It is trapped. Confronting powers that surpass you. Looks like things are back to normal. going on. It never ends. Damnation. 
That's... That's me. What's going on? You must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Colden? What's going on? Was it a hallucination? Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. No, it can't be. No! You son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for your friend. You should envy her. Murderer! This madness must stop! Holden? They do to you. Can you speak? What is this? Is it?
He gave him the gold and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. He comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. He told me to get you out of here. I can tell a lie when I hear one. Well, I don't give a damn who you're talking about. We go now. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. What the? Oh no. This way. I'm out of your dumb hiding, hiding hole. You won't get far. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. What the? Oh, no. This way. Yeah. I got this. Okay. Okay. Wait. The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas? Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it! I'd be better off finding a tool. That should do it. Let's move. Where the hell do you think you're going, woman? I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! You're my wife, my wife. You owe me obedience. Leave her alone! We're leaving this crazy island. You are going nowhere. 
Don't get between me and my wife. Edward! Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. How dare you! No! Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? All you did for her safety was throwing her in this rat hole! <coughs> I hid her well enough. You let Fuller play with her! Stop! I did everything I could to protect her, but her identity, her power, is what threatens her. What? Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? She needs help. No. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Darkwater, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Then we get rid of it. Members, you are out of your league, detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save No parent should have to bury their child, knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. 
I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> It's over now. 